Okay, hello. Um, this is hopefully the first tutorial of many. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a calendar in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, here goes. Okay, we're going to make a web document. And we're going to make it width of 11 inches. You can change that, the units here. Um, we're going to go with inches today. Uh, so a width of 11 inches and a height of 8.5 inches. I'm gonna leave the rest of that and click OK. Okay, there we there's our our page there. And okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all we're gonna hit the rectangle tool. And we're not gonna click and drag, we're gonna um, click once, and it's gonna bring up this window, and you're gonna want a width of 1.25 inches by a height of z of uh oh, one point two five inches and click OK. And there's our first box. I'm going to grab this, going to move it over a little bit, so I've got enough room. Okay, and we're going to hit the uh, rectangle tool again, and again click once. Now this time what we want is a width of 1.25 and a height of 0.25 inches. There we go. That's going to be the top where uh, where we put our text in of the days, and we're going to put that straight on top of there. Okay, so for this next bit, we're going to use the zoom tool. Click and drag. It's going to zoom in over our box. And you're probably going to want to just click that top one and just move it down a little bit. It's a little bit big. Okay. Um, and there's our first box. So we're going to go ahead and click the type tool and put it there. Okay, now. We're going to put the days in now, and what I do here, or the best thing to do, is don't start with Sunday. As, uh, what what I would recommend is that you start with Wednesday. And the reason for this is it is the biggest word. So if this one fits, then you know they all fit. So before you go any further, you know that your boxes are the right height and width. Okay, but I don't like this text, so I'm going to click my text over it and highlight it. And what are, you can use whatever text you want, but I'm going to go for Arial and Arial Black. Okay, I'm going to change that down the size down a tad as well. Change that to 11. Okay, and you're going to want to place that in the middle, just like that. Move that over a little bit, and there we go. Okay, and you're going to hit your uh, type tool again in in the middle anywhere, and again start with the biggest number, 30. I'm happy with that. I mean, you can use whatever fonts, whatever sizes you want. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Okay, so there you go. There's your boxes set up. And what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom back out here. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to select your selection tool over here. And you select all of it. And this is a great feature of uh, Adobe Illustrator. You're going to go to Object, Transform, Move. Okay, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to move it. Because we did this with numbers and we didn't just guess uh, the sizes of the box, this is where this really comes in handy, um, is we can now move these correctly. And we're going to move it um, by 1.25 1 by 0. Okay, and if we clicked OK, it would just move that over. But we don't want to do that. We want to make a copy. So what you can do is you can move Preview to know that we've done it right. So that that's fine. And we hit Copy. And there we go. There's our, our copy there. And what we're going to do now is go back to Object, Transform. But this time, we're going to do Transform again, which is Control-D we do it again. So that's just going to do whatever we did last time. It's going to do it again. So we need that seven times for each day. We already have three, so we need four more. 
So we're going to go and hit Control D. So that's four, five, six, seven. Zoom out a little bit more so you can see that. Okay, there we go. That's the all it is. One. Ooh. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we're going to want to go down. And we don't want to select the days, we just want the numbers. So make sure we get the numbers in the boxes. And again, we get to object, transform, and move. Okay, but this time we are going to want to do it at zero horizontal and negative uh, 1.25 and again click copy and that's going to take that down for us again and we're going to need that five times down for it to make sure we get all the all the different days in um, so with these selected again you already have these selected um, you're going to again control D three four five and that and there you have our calendar Okay, there we go.